So here I can either have the letters really like more reflective than, than the, the paint of the spaceship or the same. You could play around with that too. So do have some favorite letters and, and uh, numbers to draw. Maybe I'm crazy, but <laughs> it's fun to, to actually try and draw a number in a certain font, like manually. I do like the number two. It's a, It's got good variation. It's round on top and it's got the straight little legs. It's cute. Of course, I'm, I'm being lazy here because it's got two twos. All right, at, at this level, uh, I think we we know pretty much where the light is coming from. Uh, the, the spaceship is, is lit. Uh, maybe it's time to start working on some of the details, but being careful not, not working as a printer. Uh, of course, nothing wrong with that, but uh, maybe you'll end up uh, seeing something that you did completely wrong when you work too much on one part of this ship. So here on, on these panels, I'm just trying to make uh, make the shadow, basically, the, the uh, areas of the panels that aren't catching that sunlight. Uh, should be hidden in shadow behind the the little uh, extruded bit there. Same here, um, creating some sort of gradient. Just adding those highlights on the tip of the wings and uh, things that are facing upwards towards the light. Maybe leave the corner of that wing lit too. So also here these details. I just cover them in in one single paint. which will kind of symbolize the material for those parts. And then when I'm done with those steps, um, it could be time to uh, render out the form. So these little things should cast a shadow on top of the cylindrical cone thingy. <laughs> the windows I like to add this little glowing heads up display as if you you know the cockpit has gauges and monitors not only just green but adding some some purple um, on the rim of that green makes a nice variation Borrowing uh, different colors from uh, throughout the spaceship and just giving all these surfaces I laid down some some difference in color. Getting rid rid of that thick blue line there. I can borrow some of that brown or beige from different area trying to uh, have the same color of some of these bits showing that th those are sensitive bits that are painted another color than the other panels or piece of spaceship OK, 
Okay. Also here should be a, some sort of shadow. Right, see when I remove the lines here, it, it's always a nice surprise when when you remove the lines. The lines helped you a lot with the form and uh, um, so I'm gonna steal this bit from the helicopter and uh, just uh, as you can see the light is, is on the very top of, of that helicopter bit so I'm turning it upside down to have the sunlight uh, look like it's actually from the spotlight um, and I tend to try and use photos for little details uh, not not base the design on photos because it's really easy to make out uh, like oh that's a that's an upside down helicopter I can see that uh, and also like if you if you cat if you take uh, photos from two completely different designs and mix them together they don't really belong with each other so um, it doesn't really help it just it looks cool the first second or so but then when you look closer it's like what the hell is that did you use the upside down helicopter trick again um, so one one tip would be maybe to use details of parts and then adding small bits here and there <laughs> or you can maybe use a whole photo for a text a texture uh, so let's say you're making the, the clouds below maybe use leaves or whatever to get the the color variations in there it doesn't really have to be the same thing just something that can give you uh, variations you can strive from getting away from the static digital look if you do not want to have that of course so same thing here with the plane it's got the sunlight right and, and we can pretend that that's from the spotlight so I'm stealing this little piece here and of course warping the uh, the texture to align it doesn't I mean it, it looks kind of weird if you just slap the texture on and one of the panel lines are going straight through the bent side of the spaceship so I want to uh, make the texture follow the form of the of the ship and of course now it's a little bit tricky because I have to color the uh, um, the photo unless I wanted like overlay or anything like that but um, make it match color wise <laughs> it's, it's good too um, I don't know how much we'll get from this photo but um, erasing bits like this gives you a good feel of weathering you can see it almost looks like dirt now I'm, I'm liking this bit up here for the helicopter uh, that thing we could maybe use on uh, maybe the front have some details there could be cool but um, we also have to make sure that we don't break up the flow on the design so maybe focus the tech noise on this part right here instead it kind of makes sense that that piece is going in again let's see if we can match the color here somewhat we'll paint over this also so that's a good idea not just to leave the photo there but just actually paint over it so it 
kind of looks like you painted it. <laughs> and why I'm showing this, of course, is like any other artist probably use this to save a ton of time when you're actually doing uh, work. Uh, there's, I guess there's no rules. I mean, just make sure you own the image maybe, or you have the, um, that you have permission to use the, the photo or else you could be in trouble. So I'm just trying to bend this photo so that the panels are matching the curve here least somewhat and also again erasing not just straight but almost like you're paint painting the side or scrubbing the side of the spaceship you uh, erase in a bend so be careful with how you erase and how you apply texture okay so we got something there 